In this video, we're going to talk about what the bottom of the funnel is, what is appropriate kinds of offers and content you should be creating at the bottom of the funnel, how you measure success here, and how you're ultimately going to increase the ROI of your marketing. What's up everybody, my name is Brandon Bashirs, and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I create daily marketing videos here, so if you are looking to increase your business, if you want to sell more and create more leads with digital marketing, then be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. So I've made three other videos. I talked about the funnel in general, which is driving people from evaluation or awareness to evaluation and then finally to conversion. I made also a top of funnel and a middle of funnel video. And here we're gonna be talking about the bottom of the funnel. If you haven't watched those videos, be sure to check out those links below and watch those videos as well as this one. So if you are trying to increase the ROI of your ad spend and if you're trying to increase the revenue of your business, then the bottom of the funnel is where you're going to wanna to spend your time. So once you have people that are first aware of your business, then once they're aware they can evaluate your business and once they've evaluated you, they'll be able to do business with you. Now, understanding what the, the clients and customers that you have, what they want and what the profile of your, your client and customers are is very, very important in setting up offers and messaging so that you're able to attract not only customers, but the right kind of customers who are gonna be most profitable for your business. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure to answer the three really, really important questions um, that I covered in this video. If you click on that card, you can go check that out. But ultimately what we're trying to do here is we're trying to drive as much conversion as possible at this stage. And if you have a product that you can sell additional products to your clients and customers, this is where we're trying to do that as well. So here we're trying to typically find people that are um, in the right profile of types of people. Um, and we're creating offers and showing people offers here. So once, once you have an email list or you have a list of prospective clients, you're going to want to really show offers to these people as frequently as possible without upsetting them and getting them to drop off your list. So at the conversion phase, really ultimately we're trying to solve problems and be the solution provider for those problems. So number one, you have to be available when they're ready to buy. And number two, you have to give them ways to take those offers. So here at Bottom of Funnel, the types of content that we're doing, we're actually doing product and sales pages. We're doing things like consultations and we're upselling on the phone and in person. And really we're ultimately just driving people to a buying action. So one thing that I like to think about when I'm creating offers and, and content is that it's very important that it's easy for people to take action and that we don't make them work to take action. So if you have an offer or a service or a product that you're trying to sell, when you're driving people to take that action, make sure that you send them directly to that product. I know that that's a super no brainer and it's super basic, but you'd be amazed at how many people are sending out email newsletters to people that are prospective clients and there's no call to action in their email. So typically I like to have one objective per campaign that I'm running. And so whether that's a product sale or a consultation or a specific service, I don't like to give people too many options because when you have more options, typically you're gonna end up with somebody who is unhappy. Drive people to a specific action, create marketing and messaging that is for one action and sell that one action. It's okay to have payment plans and things for different products and giving them more options to buy a single product typically helps improve conversion rate. But if you're selling a service and a consultation and a product and it's just, there's not a good messaging built around that, it's a lot of complication and it forces your prospects to do more work. So here we're trying to make it as seamless as possible, as frictionless as possible. We're trying to drive people through the funnel here and make them purchase and then hopefully retain them to rebuy. So at this stage of the funnel, there's a few things that I like to do to really help pump up my conversion numbers. One thing that I like to do is add scarcity. I like to add limited time offers. And the reason for that is because at, at this stage of the funnel, people typically make emotional decisions and they validate it with logic. So if you can get somebody to show up and show that they're interested in your product and service, and then you give them a free shipping code, or you give them some kind of a way to take that next step, but it has scarcity and time sensitivity attached to it, you're gonna have a much higher conversion. So the types of content that you can use at the bottom of the funnel, it's gonna be things like directing people to product pages, directing people to sales pages. Depending on the purchase price of the product, you might wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment 
or consultation or sell a consultation or get a deposit. It's things that involve money here. And so that's what's so great about this stage of the funnel. We're able to measure and track ad spend. If we create an ad that's driving people to a specific product, we're able to track with pixels how much that ad is generating and we're able to track return on ad spend. And that's what's so great about bottom of funnel. If we're able to imp improve conversion rates and retention of clients at the bottom of the funnel, everything that we do on top of that is going to be more effective and we're gonna have better return on ad spend for our overall campaign. So it's very, very important that the bottom of the funnel is built out before the rest of the parts are in general. So I like to focus again on things that are going to affect conversion rates and increase sales so that any other marketing activities and new leads that you're generating, it's only gonna be more effective. And so I really, really suggest for most businesses, if you haven't done any kind of optimization, you just start at the bottom of the funnel. What are the other offers that you can create? Uh, how can you market those offers? How can you show up for different reasons without seeming like you're just constantly trying to sell things? That's really important. You don't want people to get fatigued here. So being sure that you're being responsible with how often you send out offers is also very, very important. One thing at the bottom of the funnel too is that you have clients and customers who are interested in your product and they know, like, and trust you now. So things like um, onboarding emails, onboarding sequences, retention sequences, win back campaigns, all of these types of campaigns that help take your current customers and then turn them into repeat customers are also very, very important. Some things that I like to do here are email campaigns. It's a great type of content for bottom of funnel, especially when you have an order confirmation sequence. If you're sending out emails, typically the most opened emails are purchase confirmations, shipping confirmations, and shipping updates. So if you're optimizing those to help to resell your clients, and give them more offers and, and more updates, then typically you're going to sell more too because those are gonna be the highest open rate emails. And a lot of times people don't optimize those just because they think they're sending out an update for shipping when it's actually a great chance to try to resell your clients and customers. So at the bottom of the funnel, again, the things that we're gonna be measuring are the number of customers and clients that you have, the number of purchases that are happening, the average transaction volume, the buying and rebuying, ratio. So how often does somebody buy? How often do they rebuy? What the time to rebuy is? How long they stay a customer? Um, if you have a subscription service, what is their average time for being subscribed? Things like that. Whenever you can increase these um, metrics, your whole funnel is going to perform better. And so it's very, very important. If you ever have any questions or if you want to get some free marketing ideas, head on over to maverickdigitalmarketing.com. You can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and I will share some marketing opportunities with you that I see based on the evaluation that we can do there for free. So you can get your free marketing evaluation at maverickdigitalmarketing.com. And if you ever have any questions, comments, need help with anything, please feel free to subscribe. I create daily marketing videos. And I also love talking about this stuff. So if you ever need any help, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you on the next video.